What's good, you guys? I'm back here with another brief video, and today I'm going to do a little something different. I never really use all my features on my phone, but I decided to try it out today just because I was bored and said, why not? So I'm making this video in cinematic movie mode. And I just want to see how well it goes. And if I do like it, I might do more videos of this nature. I just don't know. Uh, make sure if you are new, you like, comment, subscribe. Now, previous video, I already told you guys um, about my situation. And if you don't know, I was hacked on Facebook and Instagram. So right now, I'm in the midst of trying to get the accounts back. I did get my Instagram account back. But I will be transferring that information to a new IG but somehow that new IG uh, in the community think I'm fraud, so they banned me for a week. So it's crazy, so now I'm using my old IG. So make sure you guys follow the new IG that I post, and I can still accept. So what I did was I just made everything private instead of public temporarily, just so I can get everything situated and a lot of other personal stuff. But I will be transitioning to a new IG and starting all over just because uh, I do not want to be hacked anymore or my personal information or whatever the case may be. I also made a TikTok, so make sure y'all go follow your boy on TikTok. Um, and that's just going to be posting like clips, uh, stuff like that um, to uh, branch off and expand my YouTube, okay? Now, if y'all seen the title, um, I kind of just like wanted to just free ball it. So basically, it's kind of like how long or how far would you go to wait for somebody you know if, if that means like how far would you go or if you guys agreed and said hey you know we just need some time we need some space to figure things out to see if this is real or if it should work how far would you go so i won't got i want guys and women to comment down below and tell me now for me i'm gonna tell you this honestly since i have experienced that situation dealt with a situation and you know we people talked about it and stuff like that with you know with you know just honest conversation with uh with a person or them um i can say is that it's really no timetable um to sit up here and say oh when will it be a good time for a relationship somebody might have that per perception on oh yeah right now it's it's a great time but in reality, it could be a bad time for the other person. They could either be trying to focus on themselves, school, work, getting careers, moving, whatever the case may be, you just don't know. So I'm here to tell anybody that if you're going to a, going through a situation like that, like under, understand this, I'm the same way. I'm going through something like that right now. And I'm here for you. But keep this in mind. You can't really put time on expectations. You can't really put time on, oh, if this person is going to do this or do that or whatever the case may be. Just know deep down inside that, you know, you still got to live your life. Uh, they got to still live their life. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And it'll come back to you. Um, it's hard because when you like somebody and it could be someone that you just met five, six months ago that you really like or you known them for years that you like and you finally give in like oh i want to be with them or oh let's do this but then you like uh i don't know maybe just friends might be best or if my situation for me personally was like i was afraid and i was still afraid you know to commit to somebody and then finally when oh you like, I got that confidence. I, I'm good. I got this. And then, oh, no. Um, Yeah, you had your chance. But maybe we can try, but just not right now. And this ain't no shade to nobody, bro. This is just me just speaking true facts. Like, women will only wait for so long. Men, we got to do better. Because if we like somebody, we got to make it known. The reason why I'm making this video is because I just want, I feel like I want to just express how our society and our generation is. We have somebody that we can be close with, cool with. I ain't gonna say friends with benefits, but like you could date somebody with no title, but all they want is the title. You put the title, guess what? You unlock the magical key. If you don't unlock the magical key, technically that what y'all do ain't shit. That's just like, a, oh, we just written on paper, but it's not actually signed and dated. It's just like, oh, hey, I like you. I like you too. 
Let's talk and date without the title. Okay, cool. But that's only going to work for so long. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I would tell anybody like, look, don't hesitate. Do what you got to do. But if you guys both agreed and talked to each other about, hey, look, you know, this is what I want. I want a relationship. But if one party isn't agreeing or feel comfortable, don't force it. Don't push it. You know what I'm saying? I learned, I learned the hard way. I had to understand what that meant. Or I had to understand just in general, like, okay, you're right. If it was meant to be, if it was meant to be my mom, my dad, you know, family was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You live your life. Everyone, we're young for only so long. And for me, it's like, and, 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 and it'll be for you guys who's watching me, the audience, any woman, girl, boy, girl, whatever you want to call it. They will all say like, look, I got to live my life. You live yours. And guess what? If it's meant to be, it's going to come back around. Sometimes people have to take a, a fall back or a step back in order to really reevaluate themselves. What can I bring? What can I offer? Who am I? Um, am I even good enough for you anymore? The mindset that I that I had or someone else had could be like, yeah, I'm ready. But then when you really look at the longevity, you like, yo, hold on, like this ain't what I signed up for. Now guess what? Both parties when being friends was cool, but now y'all just like, I ain't gonna say we hate each other, we just highly dislike each other. Or it might be like, yeah, the feeling is mutual right now, we just don't need to be together. Um and you know, again, I say it's really hard and difficult sometimes to accept that. And that's me. I ain't gonna lie. It is difficult sometimes to accept certain things like that. I hate rejection. You know what I'm saying? But how many, how many of us doesn't? You know what I'm saying? But it's a certain type of rejection that you can accept. And then there's a certain type of rejection that is kind of like, okay, you know what? Just bad timing, whatever. You can reject somebody and be like, hey, look. I do feel the same way, but you know, just right now I want to focus on myself. Then there's another rejection I think that would be like, yo, I ain't interested no more. That kind of hurts, but you, you deal with it and life goes on. I think it's like, for me, it's just the rejection of like, hey, it's just bad timing, bro. If the timing was right, I probably would say, sure, why not? Let's rock it. But because I know the timing isn't right, why would I put myself or let them put themselves in a situation that knowing that we probably know it will fail, like fail, fail. And then that means it's going to be hatred, dislike, whatever. We don't want none of that. Um, and that's just in general. You know what I'm saying? And I understand it. And for the people I tell people like this, I apologize for anybody I've ever hurt, harmed, whatever, from my past, to my future, my present. You know, I understand. I'm always going to be friends. I'm always going to be this and that. If I do see potential and there's more potential, believe me, I'm going to hop on it. But right now, I got to focus on myself. Because if I don't focus on myself and show love to myself, how can I focus on another woman and, you know, expand my my career, my life, and also whoever I want to be with my family? You know what I'm saying? So... I uh, wanted to make this quick little video on saying like it's okay like how far would you go or how long do you think it takes for you and that person to get in a relationship there's really no time like it's really no time to no time to it's literally when both you guys can sit down and really reevaluate your life and say you know what I can make time for you and you can make time for me and when that happens guess what let's agree on the certain times and days we can meet or hang out or whatever the case may be it doesn't even matter all it needs to be is a uh, like an agreement on on both parties if one agree and the other one doesn't it's not gonna work so i want you guys to understand that like i'm coming to you guys because you know a lot of people don't speak up a lot of people get in relationships they jump into shit and then all of a sudden like two three four months down the line it may look good that five months six month mark that's when people start showing their true colors you be like whoa what the fuck hold on i ain't never seen you like this and guess what now you looking crazy you looking you looking like what the fuck do i do now what do I, what's going on how can i get this out how can i do that 
Guess what? Well, you can't then. You can't, motherfucker. You can't. Now y'all ended up breaking up, blocking each other on social media. And now you just don't know what the hell to do. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to say that. And, um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys comment down below. Show your boy some love, bro. The 501k. Thank you so much. Follow me on my new IG and my TikTok. And we just gonna keep it running. Like, it's getting hot. So, I'm gonna start doing more vlogs outside. More questions to ask. Um, you guys tell me what y'all want to see. Um, I'm even going to try to do go outside, be, be with the nature, be with one, you know. But until next time, it's your boy Keith. Thank you so much. And let me know how this uh, cinematic mode goes. Because it looked nice, but I really don't know. Um, and until then, we out. Peace.